Hello everybody, this is Moses from Out There Gardens and this is episode 43 of Gardening Without Edits. I'm next to my donut peach here and I was asked on Instagram to create a video if I ever find it on my trees and I find it occasionally. That's peach leaf curl. It's very rare that it happens on a donut peach and it did. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Um, I'm thinning, as you can see, my donut peach. It's all over. Now here's the key why I'm showing this. Now there's hundreds already. I only did this side at the four, uh, five foot level and below. So I still have to thin out this up here. And that's how many I've already thinned. This is the show you should be thinning right now. If you, uh, uh, I'm in zone 9B, uh, Central California, but if you have fruit size this big or even smaller, hopefully, uh, not bigger at least, uh, you should be thinning your fruit. But while you're thinning your fruit, inspect your tree. You know, they, uh, problems can happen all the time, not just, you know, in certain seasons. It could happen at any moment. I'm going to show you right now a peach leaf curl. I saw it up here. So I'm assuming because then I, once you see peach leaf curl, at, for me, what I've learned over the years of doing this, I look at the peach leaf curl, I go, uh-oh. If you look at real crinkled like this compared to everything else, that's probably where it started. When and then it when it rains, you got to look down because you won't typically find it on the left. You don't see it on the left. Actually, I shouldn't touch any leaves with my hand. It could, I'm not too sure, but the spores or whatever it is could be on my hand. Don't touch the leaves of any healthy leaves after you touch a um, um, a curled peach uh, leaf. Don't touch any other leaf. So I span to the left, I span to the right, and typically you don't find it. You always find it going down. There's another one. And let's see if there's more. I'm pretty sure that I saw more. There's more. You see? Right underneath the problem. Rains down and it touches the other leaves. So it spreads that way, at least in my experience. So what I have to do with these leaves is remove all the leaves and do not compost it. Just burn them or throw them in the garbage or the green bin. Um, so, but yeah. I do get peach leaf curl, very rare. I get it on my, you can see how much more I gotta thin. Very rare that I get it on my donut peach. I typically get it on the Fantasia nectarine that I grafted on that uh, multi-grafted tree. I'll link the video of that tree in the video now. But yeah, so I do get it. It's not that it, you know, I'm, no one's perfect. You know, and this, typically this is probably because it was too dense, it's really dark here. So if I just thin out the leaves, or cut a branch and allow more air of movement through the system, we won't have much problem. See how dark it is right there? We could have another problem in that location. All right, everybody, happy gardening.